uh, I'm here with Rodney Hu. Yep. And this is the Yucca Tap Room here in Tempe. And uh, you know, when I first walked up to the front, the front of the uh, it looked like, like art, but you it's so discern uh, and discerning. I don't know the word, right word for it, but like you would not expect to see what's inside from the outside. Like, I mean, tell me about this place. This is amazing. Yeah, sure. No, I appreciate it. We are um, the oldest liquor license, one of the oldest bars in uh, Tempe. Um, We've been around since 72 to 74 ish, I always call it, uh, is when my dad started it and I took it over around 2005 or 6, so 20 some years ago. And um, yeah, we, we were known for uh, local music, local craft beers and yep. um, craft beer stuff. And then from there, we just kind of have grown over the years. So, this is a family business. So, you said your, your dad started this business, and then how long ago did you take over? And, like, can you can, can give me some more history on that? Yeah, my dad started it and he bought it from an old cowboy couple back around like 72. And uh, he started running it from there. It was mainly like a cowboy, biker, bar, kind of dive bar. And um, they had a lot of pool tournaments, shuffleboard uh -huh. tournaments, dart tournaments, things like that, bar games. And then over the years, we added on and really um, got behind the, the local music scene and just did, you know, started doing a bunch of shows. Yeah, yeah. And from there, we kind of just have grown over the years and just really wanted to be a big part of the community and sure. support our community and be like uh, one of the known kind of institutions, I guess. Yeah, so before COVID, obviously everything's different now. Maybe it's going to get back to some sort of sense of normal, but like, what are some of the most fun things that you've done in recent years? here as far as expansion or events or just you know memorable like events that have it'll pop in your head right now like what, what yeah definitely all of our big we're known for our music so a lot of the live music shows and all the big shows all the big local bands uh, and some of the national band top national bands as well so that's some of the most exciting times we've done a few parking lot parties and done big outdoor shows and then we expanded over the recent years and added on the arcade electric bat arcade to do um, some of the best pinball, we have like national pinball players even come through and uh, participate in tournaments and stuff like that here. So it's been like a real big how part many, of this pinball. How many pinball machines are in here? This is like amazing. Oh, I, I want to say there was like, oh, how many is the total? I want to say it's like 30 something. Yeah. But I might be, I might be off a little this, bit. So this is a fairly new addition. Yeah, we added this on two years ago. Um, and have just grown it over the years. Oh, actually, more than two. I want to say maybe it was like three. Yeah. Because I always, like, the COVID year throws me off a bit, so. Right, right. Because it's not like it even existed. Kind of what are you thinking is next for the next 12, 18 months? The next 12 to 18 months, we'll be redoing the entire plaza here. And it will be a new, really exciting project. I think it'll be a destination location that people are going to be blown away by. Yeah, it's going to blow people's minds. And speaking of that, other than just going to Google Maps, like, where are we right now? If you're described as somebody watching who's never been here, how do you find this place? It's the southwest corner of Southern and Mill. It's in the Danel Plaza. Um, and we have a lot of local artists that um, Rob Moore, a gentleman that I had met, uh, I want to say eight or nine years ago, uh, ten years ago, we started talking about, like, just really activating the space and embracing arts and culture, embracing the community. And he's like, you know, a lot of the local neighborhoods really want to support you and they want to see this place thrive. So I'll help put some of this together. So I told him, I was like, you should start commissioning some of these local artists to do murals and stuff out here. Mm -hmm. um, and, and just really embrace the arts culture as well. So he started putting that all together. And that's why on the outside of Danielle Plaza, when you go around, you'll see like all this amazing artwork and they're all local artists. It's just amazing. I'll have to get that check, check that out, add some photos of that for sure. For sure. So then the next phase, of, to answer your question, we're going to redo this whole closet. It'll be housing, retail, um, food and beverage, a bunch of new kind of uh, restaurants and bars and stuff, and it'll be like this whole thing. And then Yucca will stay. Yeah, are you looking for investors to help with that project, or is that already like settled and handled? Like if someone's listening and they're interested in a project like that, how would they get a hold of you? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now, we've applied for the. Um, RFQ with the city. They just recently put out a request for a proposal for to um, to try to do this redevelopment project because the city owns the middle building. Mm -hmm. And so once they choose the um, the winner of that or winner or the, the person that's going to the candidate that's going to do that, then that's when the next project will happen. And I guess I, I mean if people want to contact us and try to figure that out, I guess we can always talk. Yeah, for sure. I well, I love what you're it. doing, man. It's like it's like this is exciting and it's like alive and it's like full of just human beings and personality and it's just like it's like it's nice to see that uh, somebody's putting so much effort into keeping 
such a long tradition going. Thanks, I appreciate it. We put a lot of hard work and love and just, you know, into, we really want to put a lot into our community and our local community. Yeah. That's really what we've been about. So tell me about the food in the kitchen. What do you guys got uh, serving up here? What do you guys, how's that go? I call it upscale bar food. Uh, we've done some Asian flair and Asian twist to it. So we do these little Asian bows. Um, that are filled with all kinds of different ingredients from bulgogi. We do like a spam, we'll do a fried chicken, and, and then uh, we do burgers, obviously, and just uh, bar food as well. And then we're going to be launching um, dumplings and bows, which will be another kind of form of, uh, of a Asian, kind of like a dim sum um, concept, but it'll be a little bit different. We're, we're going to have a twist to it. Okay, cool. Um, hours, how do we, uh, when we want to come and hang out, are we open seven days a week? Like, yeah. Seven days a week, 6, 6 a.m. We're one of the oldest bars that started opening at 6 a.m. My dad wanted to really cater to the graveyard shift people. Oh, yeah. And uh, he called it the true reverse happy hour. <laughs> so from 6 to 11, I think we run happy hour. It's really happy hour all day, but we open at 6 a.m. and we close at 2 a.m. Perfect. Um, anything we can do as a community to, to help you guys grow and any, anything else that you can think of that would help? Just come check it out. Come come check out shows. Come check out a, a pinball tournament or even come in here and check out any of the games that we have going on. Or come try some of the craft beers, craft you know cocktails or even craft whiskeys that we carry. So, any of that stuff. Yeah, so how do we get to the schedule other than the link below these videos that you'll be seeing? Like how does, how does somebody find out the calendar, the schedule? Like where do they go for that? It'll be on our website, yuccatap.com. Yuccatap.com, cool. Well, Rodney, um, appreciate it, man. This has been awesome. I can't wait to uh, to grab grub with you a little later and I appreciate it. For sure. Thanks for coming out. And, yeah, and yeah for sure. Us for, for this. I appreciate it.